Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder Reacts here back with more Let's Play Jean d'Arc. Alright, so we are... we're done uh, with this fight. So we're just gonna start moving people... out of the battle, because we're, we're not needed anymore. Uh, Alright, everyone's getting a little... Uh, that's a little weird, passive. Sorry friend, but I have no time for... Oh, they're upset that they're they're having to abandon Roger. Okay, I get it. I get it. I see see what they're doing. Alright. So yeah, we are we are done with this. It's gonna take another turn for Marcel to leave, but that's fine. We got it in time, so and of course Colet is just kind of a dick about it. I'm gonna have uh John be the last person to go, because I have a feeling it'll be uh, an interesting uh, clip, so. Alright, so three turns left. Not that it matters. Alright, so Marcel heads out. Oh, he's kind of broken up about it. And John... Why? Why did this have to happen? Alright, so we finished the stage. So I know there's going to be some discussion afterwards. Let's see what we got for beating this one. 720 bonus XP, 2000 bonus gold, a Zeno fruit, and a mana crystal. Eh, okay, not bad. Giles, Jean, Lahire, Bartholomew, Bertrand, and Rufus. Eh, pretty good level ups all around. Jean is level 49 now, which means she's actually a lot closer than she was when we just got her back. So, next time you... No, I dropped you like a sack of bricks. Like, really. Yes, we have to go. It's it's time to go. I know you, how you feel, but... Alright, so, we get to head to the next area. Chateau Burgundy. So let's go. Oh, uh, it says outfitter save. I don't think we can shop because there's not a shop icon here. So I have a feeling this is not going to be fun. Let's see what we've got <clears throat> going on at the Chateau Burgundy. Oh, well then, I'm not going to like this. <laughs> let's see. I just looked at the map. I'm like, oh, well then, this is the Duke of Burgundy Chateau. It's awfully quiet. Oh god, the Duke of Burgundy is a scary looking man. He looks like he belongs from, like, King of the Hill, 16th century. So. You're with the Duke, then. The feast table has already been set. Oh, you're going to treat us to a feast. Or is this one of those how-to-serve-humans type type deal that happens with aliens. I have singular talents, like sniffing out the darkness. Oh, that's not creepy at all, is it? Oh! Metal Gear. Oh! Did... He didn't hit him. And again, what? You smell delicious. Yeah, he doesn't have eyes. He just has white, white orbs. That should probably be a clue that he's not human anymore. I guarantee you, he's probably one of the Reapers. You know, they were. Oh, how fantastic! We are stuck. We've been had. All the guards are dead. The Duke of Burgundy. He's. He is a reaper. This is gonna be. This is our first fight with a reaper. Oh God, he is very uncomfortable. <laughs> this is. This is okay. Yeah. Uh, stage twenty-four: Dark Demoniac defeat Superbia and Jean falls in battle. All right. Um. 
Let's see. I've got two rounds. I probably need a heal on her. So we're going to do that. We're going to find who has a heal too that they don't need. You don't really need one. So we're going to put that on John. Because I have a feeling she's going to need a little bit extra help. See, everything else on her should be alright. Um, counter two rounds. Let's see. Should put something else back on Giles. Um, I'm gonna just put a regular heal. Not that that'll do any good. So, yeah. I, I need to make more heal twos, is what I need to do. And I don't really know who the best options are going to be in this. So we've got we've got Jean there, just kind of stuck on her own. We've got Superbia, and we have what a Wyvern, a Flame Flyer, and then another flamethrower flyer outside. But that's not gonna be how things go. That's we we know better than this. Alright, so Um I don't know what we're going to need to do. There looks like we can go into other sections of the castle here by going through these doors. So these doors there would be there's something in this room. And there's a treasure right there that is uh, either going to be 1,000 gold for a 50% chance, healing fruit for a 25% chance, or mana jewel for 25% chance. So that's what's there. We have another treasure right over here, right there. And that is going to be uh, 500 gold for a 50% chance, 300 gold for a 40% chance, or 800 gold for a 10% chance. So really not anything worthwhile there. And then right there, right next to the boss, uh, we have uh, either a Shatter Axe, Champion Sword, or Trident for a 33% chance for each. So, uh, this looks like it's going to be a fun fight. I'm going to I'm going to bring in some mobility. I'm going to bring in a heavy hitter. A ranged unit and and my usual caster. So, Alright, so, I don't know how I'm actually supposed to do this. Quickly, John is in danger. Alright, how do we get to the door, is the question. Like, how are we supposed to be able to handle that? Alright, so let's do some damage to this guy. 109. Eh. Uh, I've, I've done more or less. Let's see. 153. And the counterattack that will not hit. Alright. Um. Let's see if you can kill him. Probably not, but put a world of hurt on him, so that's. And it's not like he's gonna be able to attack, so. Alright, Flame Flyer is going to be down. Uh, I'm gonna move back here. Can I attack the... No, I can't attack the door. We've got 20 turns for this. I'm not entirely sure what we are actually supposed to do. Oh lord, he can, he can move very quickly. He can move very quickly. Alright, so... He's dead. And we get very little worth while from him, so... 
but I gotta level up, so that's good. Alright, uh, there are... So on the map, in the guide, there are yellow spots all over the place that look like they take... Okay, I, I think I see what we're supposed to do. Uh, there are... So there are enemies in these rooms that we can't see, but what we're supposed to do is we, we pick a section, we go up and around. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna bust through these windows, and then we're gonna bust through this window to get to Jean. So that's... That's the plan. So I'm gonna need to commit to a direction, and I think we're gonna go this way. There's a larger enemy here, probably a golem or a dragon type enemy in this room. So, or is there are fewer enemies here, but there's larger enemies up there. But I think we're gonna, we're gonna stick with this commitment. All right, and open the door. And that opens up the room for us. So that's how this is going to play out. So now that we have access to the room, we can see what's in there. Which means we can attack it. So I'm going to have Marcel do a lot of that. Uh, skills, Sky Dark. Ooh. Can I? I can. I can Sky Dart him for very little damage. Huh. I don't think I could do a ton of damage that way, but I think I'm going to leave him for Jean and just try to deal with the enemies that are going to be in front of us. So. Sky Dart, probably not intended to be used to hit the boss from here. But. Alright, what is. His movement radius is just. Impressive. There's nowhere I can can go that he won't be able to hit me at this point. So I am going to go on the offensive. And two rounds. That's gonna make this a little more entertaining. Oh, and he will counterattack both times. That's hilarious. Alright. Oh, you have HP recovery. That just really undid all the damage I did to him. Most of it. All except for nine. And you have Thunderbolt too, because you are the worst type of person. So yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need assistance to take him out. Like, there is no way I'm going to... to be able to just take him out with Jean. I mean, maybe if I transformed... But even that's a bit of a a stretch. Alright. I'm I'm not gonna bother with killing him if I can get to a door. Because I need to open up more of the uh the battlefield. And let me Yeah, there is a treasure in this room. I forgot. It's you know it's probably money. So... Money, healing fruit, or mana jewel, that's... Let's see, I can do 25 points of damage. By just hitting him. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I wonder if I could cast a spell through the door. Alright, so everyone's moved. It's now Jean's turn. Let's come up and do damage. I need to be able to do some damage, so. But since he's. His biggest threat seems to be if he casts a spell on me. He knows he can't really hit me. So. I'm not that that worried about it. Oh, except that is the biggest lo load of horseshit ever. Really? He can hit me through. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's 
keep moving. Sky Dart. I'm gonna need to take out the Ogre. The Ogre I will have to focus some damage on because otherwise he will just regenerate all of it. No, I don't want to end my turn. I want to move. No, I want to move Richard. Press the button when I tell you to press the button. Uh, I could get the treasure with Richard. Because it's right there. It is right there, right? It's... It's... Yeah, I believe it's right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks to be the center of the room, so that's it. Let's, let's get the treasure, because... Oh, I'm one away from it? Ah, oh, screw you, hippie. Uh, I'm gonna save up my sweep. And... Skills. Three hits. 306. So that's gonna put a world of hurt on him. That was... Fantastic amount of damage. Alright, let's... Get the treasure, and then we're going to get the hell out of there. So that we can get around, so that that flame flyer doesn't keep launching spells at me. We get a champion sword. Not great. I was kind of hoping for the shatter axe, because that's, that's going to be kind of more needed. So... Because I've got the Paladin Sword on Jean, I've got, you know, a ridiculously good uh, spear on Giles, the, the Demon Grife. So those weren't exactly needed. Fireball 2? Alright, I'm going to need to move her back and heal her instead of attacking. Otherwise she's probably going to die. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal her. Alright, let's get her out of the way. I could transform. That'll heal me. And allow me to still do some damage. So, I'm gonna do that. Because I don't want to take a turn just to really end up doing nothing because that'll undo all of the good that I've done so far. So let's let's do some damage. And now would be a great I was about to say now would be a great time for two turns to frog. Ah. Oh, all right. And that's Got a healing fruit. Alright, let's move everyone as far forward as possible. I'm gonna open this door and see who is behind door number three. It's just... It's a golem. I'm not as concerned. I was like, is it a dragon? No, it's a golem. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because a sweep will take out the golem. Once I get... Once I can get there, sweep will just take the golem out, so... And HP recovery. I'm pretty sure I'm still within an attack range for, uh... A fireball ability, but... I'm gonna put a world of hurt on this guy. <laughs> yeah. I need to move a little bit further down. But I take less damage because I'm transformed, so that's... I got that going for me. Oh, and you're gonna move close to me. Oh, you're gonna body slam... Kalei. I need to heal Kalei, too. Kalei needs to not die, because he's gonna need to be able to put some... some hurt on... on everyone. But I am now blocked, so that's all I can do at the moment. Let's sweep. Supermarket sweep. Done. 
Alright, let's... Try to catch up now. I've used my healer to do that, and that's rather inefficient. Don't have enough for Sky Dart. That's not good. Let's move you there. Items. Let's use a healing seed, get back some of that HP. It's about time for me to end this episode, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys in the next installment, where hopefully I can do a little bit more damage to Superbia with my last hit. And uh, then get the rest of my team to a place where we can hopefully end this fight. I mean, we've, I'm pretty sure we've got the time to do it. We've only on turn 6, and we've taken out everything in front of us except for that Flame Flyer. So I think we can, we can handle this. But I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.